Hello, I'm Dr. John Eit, and this is a Society for Vascular Surgery briefing about carotid stenosis and what it means. The detection and treatment of carotid artery disease for the prevention of stroke is one of the most effective treatments in all of medicine. The decision to perform carotid endarterectomy must be individualized and take into consideration a complex set of factors, including the degree of stenosis, the composition of the plaque, the nature and frequency of symptoms, as well as medical and anatomical factors related to the safe performance of endarterectomy. Vascular surgeons are uniquely trained to provide comprehensive evaluation to the patient with carotid artery stenosis and to choose the best treatment for each individual patient. There are two carotid arteries in the neck that provide much of the blood supply to the brain. Just behind the angle of the jaw, the main carotid artery divides into an external branch that goes to the face and an internal branch that goes to the brain. Hardening of the carotid arteries, or so-called arteriosclerosis, results from the accumulation of fatty debris that results in narrowing of the internal carotid artery. Atherosclerotic debris consists of inflammatory cells, lipid, calcium, and platelets. Stenosis is the medical term that is used to describe narrowing of the inside of the artery, and this narrowing is classified according to the percentage reduction in the normal artery diameter. In general, the more severe the degree of stenosis or narrowing, the more likely that a stroke may occur. Stenosis of the carotid artery can interfere with the normal supply of blood to the brain by either of two mechanisms. In some very severe cases, carotid artery stenosis can reduce the total amount of blood to the brain. More commonly, debris can break off and travel to the brain in a process called embolism. Embolism may be clinically silent or result in temporary or permanent neurological symptoms. Antiplatelet medicines like aspirin or Plavix are helpful in preventing the first step in the formation of embolic material. A temporary neurological symptom like weakness, trouble with speech, or visual disturbance that lasts for less than 24 hours is called a transient ischemic attack, or TIA. This results when the embolus dissolves and the injured area of the brain recovers. A stroke defines a more prolonged deficit where the blood flow to that area of the brain is lost and the affected brain cells die. There are four symptoms that may warn of an impending stroke and these symptoms may disappear in a few minutes. Loss in the ability to move the arm or leg or both. Alteration in sensation or feeling loss of vision in one eye, and finally interference with the ability to speak or to understand what is being said. These symptoms can be remembered by the mnemonic, the four S's, for alterations in speech, sight, strength, and sensation. Patients with carotid stenosis who have experienced temporary symptoms are at substantially higher risk of eventual stroke than patients who have never had symptoms or are so-called asymptomatic patients. Carotid stenosis can sometimes be detected by hearing a pulsatile noise or bruit listening over the neck with a stethoscope. But more commonly, it is detected by an ultrasound exam. Ultrasound is a simple, safe, painless test that can accurately define the degree of stenosis in the carotid artery and gives important qualitative information regarding the composition of the carotid plaque. It's been shown clearly that removal of carotid plaque can dramatically reduce the risk of stroke. For more than 50 years, vascular surgeons have performed carotid endarterectomy to prevent stroke in appropriate patients. In general, carotid endarterectomy is appropriate in asymptomatic patients with greater than 60% stenosis or symptomatic patients with more than 50% stenosis. Carotid endarterectomy can be performed under either local or general anesthesia and usually requires an overnight stay in the hospital. While carotid endarterectomy is generally considered the gold standard for the prevention of stroke in patients with significant carotid artery disease, carotid artery stenting has emerged as an alternative treatment for selected patients who are not candidates for carotid endarterectomy. Vascular surgeons are leaders in the minimally invasive treatment of vascular disease. Many vascular surgeons perform both carotid endarterectomy and carotid angioplasty and stenting and can offer unbiased guidance in the selection of the procedure that is most appropriate. This briefing is made possible by a grant from Cook Medical. To learn more about carotid stenosis or other vascular conditions, visit vascularweb.org to find a vascular surgeon near you.